This session is about agents with LangChain, where we'll combine relational vector databases and math calculations. So what is the agenda? We'll see what is an agent. We'll see the steps in an agent. We'll see the details of an agent, that is the tools. We'll create the prompt in the agent. And then we'll begin with a simple example of creating an add numbers agent and a multiply numbers agent. We'll have an agent which is interacting with the relational databases. We'll have a composite example. We'll combine numbers and a SQL agent and with the agent with a vector database. So what is the core idea of an agent? A core idea of an agent is to use a language model to choose a sequence of actions to take. In chains, a sequence of actions is hard coded in code. But in agents, a language model is used as a reasoning engine to determine which actions to take and in which order. So the steps is load the LLM, we'll define the tools, we'll create the prompt, we'll bind the tools, we'll create the agent and run the agent. Mm -hmm. So the tools that we would be considering here is add, multiply, the SQL tool using the agent and a vector database tool. Let's see and jump into action. So here, what we'll do is that we'll create an agent. So the first step is that importing all these things. Then we get all the keys here from the environment file, which is the OpenAI, Azure OpenAI keys and the endpoints. Then we, from LangChain, we would be importing these things. We'll create the LLM model here. And then this comes a place where we are creating the tools here. We'll create a tool which is the add two numbers and the multiply two numbers. And here, which is a function that adds two numbers, and this is a function that multiplies two numbers. So these are the tools that we are creating. Then we are also creating a SQL database agent tool. And here we are considering the European soccer database. And here we are using a SQL database, a SQLite database of EuroSoccer, which is a database on European soccer with country, league, match, player, player attributes, team, and team attributes. I will mention the database link in the video comments. So this is done. So before we do it, I think we must execute all these things. So this is So this is getting executed. So this is the SQL database slide. And here we are using a query tool which queries the European soccer. And um, here we are using a SQL database toolkit here. And now we are creating a tools list which has got three things and add two numbers, multiply two numbers, and the query European soccer. And now we are creating the chat prompt template, and we are using the system here, and we are using the input here. And we are having a messages placeholder, which is the agent scratch pad. So let's see what is the agent scratch pad. So agent scratch pad is a sequence of messages that contains the previous agent tool invocations and the corresponding tool outputs. So we have that. And then we are, we are formatting and binding the tools to the functions. So this is a bind section. And then this agent has the input, the agent scratch pad. And then we are using the lang chain in a chain expression, which is called the prompt, which is called the LLM with tools and the open AI agent output parser. Now we are doing the agent executor, which has the agent here, the tools and verbose tool, meaning it will give the, give the steps in the tool. So now we are saying get the count of players and add 100. So let's see what happens. So before that, I think we must execute all these things.
So what it has done is that here it has it is giving invoking query soccer, which is a query uh, European soccer. It has gone into it, and then it has got I can get now construct the query to get the count of all players, and it does a sequent uh, select uh, count plus players, and then it has a final answer. And then it adds two numbers with it and it is getting this and you get the response output here <coughs> now here there is another action get okay, the average height of the players in European soccer and add hundred so here what it is doing is that it is using the tool that is the European soccer tool here and it is also using the add functionality here so it is using the add functionality. Similarly, here it it should use it should use the European soccer tool, and it is getting the European soccer tool, and then it is let's see. So and the average height is calculated, and then it is adding in hundred, and you see the SQL that is being generated, and you can see the output here. So this completes more or less of how the tools are incorporating. Let's see a much more detailed example with history here. Now we go back and see the same thing here. So two tools are being created. We have now two tools, add two numbers and the multiply two numbers. The bind function is happening. And you have the agent with an input, the agent scratch pad, and the prompt is there, and it is a pipe function. The prompt, the LLMB tools, and the open AI functions, agent output parser, and the agent executor is there. And now you get this action input here add two numbers 1 and 2 and multiply the result by 23. So let's see what it is doing. So it should invoke two, two tools here, add numbers and multiply numbers. And so it is giving it. So add two numbers 3 and then it is multiplying 3 by 23. Multiplying 4 by 23, it is using just the single tool. Add numbers by 23, it is use the add numbers. It is using that. Okay. Now we would also use a chat history here. So here we would like to have the chat history somewhere here. And so that we are having here is the messages placeholder with the memory key which is the chat history. So this is given here and we are initializing with the chat history and we are in the agent we are passing the chat history to x chat history. So we are doing multiply 4 by 23, we are getting the response and the chat history is null. Now we extend the chat history with the human message and the AI message. We are doing the add 4 numbers by 23. And now we get the chat history content. We are extending again the chat history and putting all these things. We are adding the numbers 13 by 23 and then we go to the chat history here is where we are finding these two things are present. So this completes about the chat history. Now let's look at a more complicated example here in which we would be using a vector database. Here, we are using an agent with these tools, the add tool, the SQL tool, using the SQL agent and a vector database tool. And then we are querying it. So let's go into deep dive, what is the vector database tool? The vector database tool has the Azure AI search with RAG. That means we would be using the 
documents that is there in Azure AI search. We'll be searching there. And then we'll be also using Azure OpenAI to get some results. Here, what I'll show you is that this is what we have already done. We have got an Azure AI search already here. And you see that I have already done this. And the best way to learn it is that I'll have a video which I'll provide in the links about this Azure AI search with the RAG Retrieval Augmented Generation in the comments of the video, which you can see in detail and we have explained that. But in short, what we are doing is that we have set up an Azure AI search and this is the link. And then what we have done is that we have put, we have put on the semantic ranker also. And what we have done is that we have, um, we are also querying it actually. So, so here, if I go here and if I explore the data, and if I go to the search explorer, you can see that there are certain uh, documents here, and we have created an index which is biology, and you can search it. Okay. Now, just to give you more glimpse into it, uh, there is also an index which we have created, and the index is 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 made up of some pdfs okay let it come up but but in a sense what we are doing is that we are complementing this azure ai search with azure open ai and there is an orchestrator in it and now we are utilizing this thing as a tool so let's see how the tool has been made here so the tool is here it is in the testagents.py and we have got a tool which is which we have called is the animal kingdom tool and it is a function that returns information about the animal kingdom because the documents that we have put in azure ai search are those documents which are of the biology animal kingdom book so these are the steps that is down here and i have tried to put down these steps so we get the results of the azure ai vector search here and then we format the results to be used by Azure OpenAI. So once we get the results from, from the Azure AI search, we then format the results to be used by Azure OpenAI. And then we pass these results to Azure OpenAI to get the results. So this is used in the tool that is here. And so this is the tool that we are getting. And now what we are doing is that we are creating a chat template in which and before that, we have using these tools, which is the add two numbers, the get animal kingdom results, and the query open uh, European soccer. So that means we have got a tool which adds two numbers, which, which we have a tool for querying the vector database and also doing a rag with Azure OpenAI. It's a composite thing. And then we have also a tool which queries the European soccer database table. So it's, it's actually a very composite thing that we are having. Now in the system prompt, what we are saying is that you can see this. Question is the input question that you must answer. Thought you should always think what to do. And the action to take should be one of the Animal Kingdom tool, the add numbers and the European soccer tool. Always look first in the Animal Kingdom tool. So this is what it is. And then we are doing the usual stuff. We are doing the tools formatting. We are creating the agent with the tools. And then we are executing the uh, with the action input. So here we are saying add two numbers, one and two. What we have done is that we have executed this here. And if you see the execution, um, we have just sent python testagents.py. And there is a lot of input here. So what we have done is that we have copied into some output. So ultimately, what it is doing is here, if I go back, and there is a myriad of things that is happening. It is invoking the add numbers with 1 and 2 and you get the results with this, which is 1 and 2 is 3. Next, what we are doing is that, what is segmentation? So here, segmentation is something which is concerned with the animal kingdom. So what it is doing is that it goes ahead and searches in, the, in our animal kingdom tool. You see, it is invoking the animal kingdom tool. And it is giving this answer about segmentation, which you can see it out here, which is based on the segments that the body is divided into segments and so and so and so forth. Okay. 
So this is what it is doing. So segmentation is done. And now the next uh, next question that we are asking is that get the total players and add 100. So here it is players. So it should go into the European soccer tool. So if you see here, so it is going into the European soccer tool to get the European. And then what it is doing is that uh, it is doing all these things uh, to get the total number of players. You can see here. Then it is doing a select count star from player and it is getting the observation which is around 11,060 and then what it is doing is that after it has got the answer it is then invoking the add numbers with 11,060 and 100 and then it is getting 11,160. 11, so what it means is that it's a composite thing it is going into a SQL database it is also going into the total numbers and it is doing this thing. So it is a composite thing that it is doing. The next question that we have asked is that get the average height of players in the European soccer and add 100. So if you if I do not see the output, what it should do is that it should go into the European soccer tool. It should go into the add 100 and that's what you see it is doing. It is squaring the average height of the players and if you see down here, It's saying the select average height from player and it is calculating it and then and then it is finishing the chain and then it is adding the 100 to it which is 281 because we have asked it that add 100 here so it's invoking both the european soccer tool and the addition tool so this completes our lecture on agents and where we have seen an agent with different types of tools and how they are interacting with each other. The code of all these things will be in GitHub and it also refers to another video. Please also look at the other video to get an appreciation of the vector search tool where we have discussed in detail. Thank you. Bye.